Hello, I'm Michael Shermer, the director of the Skeptic Society and the publisher of Skeptic Magazine. We investigate claims of the paranormal, pseudoscience, fringe groups, and cults and claims of all kinds between good science, junk science, bad science, voodoo science, pathological science, pseudoscience, non-science, and plain old nonsense. And unless you've been abducted and been on Mars for the last couple of decades, you know there's a lot of it out there. Nonsense, that is. Some people call us debunkers, but let's face it, there's a lot of bunk. And that's part of our job. I guess you could say we're kind of the Ralph Naders of bad ideas, consumer advocates for good ideas. Science uh, is our thing. That's what we do. And uh, every issue of Skeptic has a particular theme to it, like this. This one's on medical controversies. Do vaccinations cause autism, for example? The answer is no, they don't. We know this because the alleged uh, damaging chemical that was put in the vaccinations, this mercury, um, chemical was uh, taken out in 2000, 2001, and yet children are still diagnosed with autism. Uh, we did a special tribute issue to Carl Sagan uh, 10 years after his death, and in fact we included an excerpt from his new book. So apparently there is an afterlife and Carl is still writing books there. Uh, we did one on Roswell, what really crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. This, by the way, is a painting, not a photograph. Uh, because nothing extraterrestrial crashed in Roswell. It was a top-secret military uh, investigation to try to um, listen for Soviet nuclear explosions in the upper atmosphere, and the debris is what people thought they saw as extraterrestrial. Uh, we did an issue on the future of intelligence. Are people getting smarter or dumber? Well, as you can imagine in my profession here at Skeptics, I have an opinion about this. <laughs> but it turns out that, in fact, kids are getting smarter. About three IQ points every 10 years, and nobody's quite sure why. Speaking of intelligence, we did an issue on artificial intelligence, in which my author concluded that um, human-level computer intelligence is about five years away, and always will be. <laughs> Apparently, this is a difficult problem to solve. Uh, we did one on 9-11 conspiracy theories. Was 9-11 a conspiracy? Well, yes, of course it was. 19 guys secretly plotting to fly planes into buildings on American soil. That constitutes a conspiracy, indeed. But that's not who the 9-11 truthers think did it. They think it was an inside job by none other than the Bush administration. Well. You can read the issue to find out the rebuttals to all their arguments. But in short, you know how we know the Bush administration did not orchestrate 9-11? Because it worked. <laughs> now, I want to introduce you to a couple other items here. These are just from our offices. We're here in the library of the Skeptic Society. Um, if you join, by the way, we will give you, in addition to the subscription to the magazine, you will get the uh, Da Vinci Code decoder ring and we'll tell you where the government is hiding the alien bodies. We'll tell you where Jimmy Hoffa's body is. We'll tell you who really shot JFK and who actually runs the world. We'll also tell you, in case you're skeptical about those last things, and if you are, you are uh, definitely a member of the Skeptic Society already. Uh, if you want to uh, go investigating for Bigfoot tracks, well, here's one way to do it. You strap on a pair of tennies, onto the bottom of a couple of huge feet, find yourself a nice muddy river track there and tromp around on it and then call your local Bigfoot hunters and they'll get very excited. Um, if you want to do some new age stuff, you can buy yourself some ear cones. These are the native blend. Ear coning is, well, it's not the best idea in the world. Basically what you do is you stick the cone in your ear, you light it on fire, the smoke pouring out of the cone is supposed to pull out the negative energy and impurities inside, well, your head. Um, I don't recommend this for the hard of hearing. In fact, I don't recommend it for the good of hearing. I don't recommend it at all. Here's some sage. You don't smoke it. I guess you light it and breathe in the fumes. And it's supposed to help adjust your chakras, your crown chakra, throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra, where all the energies get stuck. Uh, we've also done some investigations on tarot cards. That is basically what you do is you get yourself a pack of tarot cards. You mix them up and lay them out and then make up stuff about people. It's called cold reading. You literally read somebody cold. So you take the first card and say, whoa, it's the death card. Huh, what are the chances that I would have pulled that out the first deck? Pretty good, actually. And finally, if you want to make yourself a genuine UFO 
siding photograph. You take a little thing like this, put some glue on it, get your photographer sitting off to the side, get ready and do a little frisbee toss and you've got yourself a genuine UFO photograph. All right, so we're having some fun here, but there's a central point here. That is, before you say something is out of this world, first make sure that it's not in the world. That is, before you say something is paranormal, maybe it's normal and you just don't understand it yet. Before you say something is supernatural, make sure that it's not natural. And finally, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. It would indeed be amazing if uh, there were aliens here on Earth, if UFOs were in the skies, if Bigfoot were tromping around in the hinterlands of North America. It would indeed. But the quality of the evidence is anything but extraordinary, and that's the problem. Therefore, our message is be skeptical.